Hello everyone. I hope everyone is good. In this video, we will see what is count plot and how we can plot the count plot with the FUB Seaborn package in Python. So let's start. Now what is count plot? A count plot can be thought as an histogram across the values of a categorical variable. A categorical variable represents a group of finite number of values. For example, a gender can be considered as a categorical variable because in gender the values can be limited so gender can be male female so if you are considering only two genders male and female the value is finite so only two it's not a infinite if even if you are going to consider other gender also so the value will be three there will be three different values so this three is also finite not infinite so gender can be treated as a categorical variable similarly marital status can also be considered as a categorical variable because this status can be either a single it can be a married it can be a divorced it can be a committed so any anything basically so this if the value is limited then we can treat those kind of variable as a categorical variable now how to go for count plotting so uh, to do this, to use count plot, we need to install Seaborn first. So, if you not install Seaborn, then you can install Seaborn with the pip install Seaborn. That also we have seen in the previous uh, session. So, let me do one thing now. Let me show once again. So, if Seaborn is not installed, so what we can do is uh, let me open a command prompt from here. Let me close this PowerShell. You can use PowerShell also, no problem. Uh, this environment we have activated, the data visualization environment and we want to install Seaborn. So pip install Seaborn. I have already installed, but if you are not installed, uh, you can install with the help of this particular command, pip install Seaborn. So for me, I got this requirement already satisfied. Let us see the details of uh, this particular package. So to get the details of this package, instead of pip install, we can go for pip show and the package name. So package name is my Seaborn. So let us see. The version of Seaborn is basically 0.13.0. Uh, this can be used for a statistical data visualization. The home page is not available. Author is not available. Author email is available. So this is the email who is the founder of this particular Seaborn and so on basically. This requires Seaborn is dependent on these three uh, modules. So in your environment, this NumPy should be installed, Pandas should be installed and Matplotlib should be installed. On the top of these three packages, a Seaborn is uh, there. Seaborn can be used. Now let us see how basically we can go for uh, plotting the count plot. So let me close this now. So first we need to import the libraries. So matplotlib is a dot pyplot as imported as a PLD and Seaborn is imported as a SNS. So let me execute this. So in previous uh, tutorial also I have used the data set from Seaborn itself. Uh, this particular MPG data set, mileage per gallon data set. It's an automobile car data set. So how to load this uh, data set? Uh, in Seaborn, there is a function named as load datasets and here we can specify the dataset name and this dataset will load and will come into this particular data frame. So let me uh, run this. So you can see we have uh, 398 rows and 9 columns. These are the basically columns available. Uh, columns can be referred as a features also. So MPG, mileage per gallon, this is the first feature. Number of cylinders, second feature. Displacement, horsepower, weight of the car acceleration of the car, model year, origin and name of the car. So there are nine different features available. Uh, if you want to see specifically the names of features, so you can refer this particular property, uh, df, the data frame name dot columns. So if I'm going to execute this, so the names of columns or features will be displayed. Even if you want to get some more information about data frame, then you can use this info function df dot info. Let me execute this. So as we have seen in the previous uh, tutorial also, 398 uh, records are available in this particular data frame. Uh, indexing starts with 0 to 397. There are nine columns available. The names of columns are here. And even how many number of values are there? You can check here now. There are 392 values here. So there are six values which are missing in this particular uh, specific column. Other values are 398. So there are no, no missing value in other columns. So we have, this is float, this is integer. These are data types of corresponding columns. And we have see four uh, columns as a float, three columns as integer, and there are two columns as of text or we can say string or object type. And this is using 28 KB uh, memory. Now, if you want to draw the uh, count plot with respect to anything, uh, for example, 
uh, I, I want to check uh, the count plot of number of cylinders. So I want to count the number of cars with respect to number of cylinders. So what we can do, we can use this particular count plot function, which is present in Seaborn. So Seaborn dot, SNS is basically Seaborn dot count plot. Uh, data we have to pass as a data frame. So we have data in DF and we have passed here. And X is basically uh, uh, X axis. So we want to check the count of every value present in this number of cylinders uh, column. Then we can give X label because we have this cylinders as a X uh, axis. We can show the grids and we can show the uh, plot. So if you are going to see, you can see uh, X axis we got the number of cylinders and Y axis we got the count. So for uh, uh, three cylinders there are very less cars, five cylinders there are very less cars but four cylinders there are more number of cars. For six again this much around uh, 80 cars are there and for eight uh, number of cylinders uh, around this much number 100 and something uh, number of cars are available. If you want to get exact num count then you can use uh, value count function. So df dot value counts cylinders dot value count function. Let me execute this. You can see for five number of cylinders we have three cars, right? We have three cars. For three number of cylinders we have four cars. This for six number of cars we have eighty four cars. So this this is basically eighty four. For eight number of cylinders we have around one zero three cars, and for four number of cylinders we have two zero four cars, and so on. So this is the uh, this is basically. Now we can treat this variable as a categorical variable and we are checking uh, how much is the count of every value present in this particular uh, variable. Now if you want to display bars in a various colors depending on the country of origin then we can use one more attribute named as hue, H -U -E, right? First of all check the origin, uh, let me uh, go back and let me show you. So we have one more column named as origin. And in origin column, what is present? The origin can be either USA, it can be Europe, it can be, I don't know how many values because it's a 398 rows are there. So let's check how many number of unique values are there. So to check unique values, we have this particular function, right? Uh, DF dot, this is the name of column and unique, we have USA, Japan and uh, Europe. Let me execute this. So this is it. How, and unique is basically, it will give number of unique uh, values. So it's a three. And if you want to display uh, the different colors, based on the country of origin then we can use this particular hue attributes so the same code we, we can use here so data is passed as a D, uh, df x is basically number of cylinders and hue is passed as a origin then if you are going to execute this particular uh, cell then you can see we have three origins japan europe and usa and uh, based on this particular origin the number of cars came so uh, for this first three number of cylinders three these cars are only from Japan. So wherever blue color is there, so this, this much number of cars are from uh, Japan. Here there is no car from Japan. Here, here this much number of cars are from Japan. Here this, uh, there is no car from Japan. Even here, here there is no car from Europe also. So this is completely uh, green. So it's from USA. So here also uh, other two uh, colors are not there. It means that these car, cars are not from that particular origin. If you want to check the actual count, uh, then we can use group by function. Uh, so df not group by based on origin and we will check the value counts of cylinder value then you will get this so on europe number of cylinders 4 right then we have 63 so in europe what is the color for europe it's a uh, orange color so this is basically 63 this value is 63 and so on uh, even the first value if you want for japan if you want to see for japan the color is blue and japan the number of cylinders 4 right is basically 69 so the first graph, this blue color is 69 and so on. So this is the uh, country wise or basically origin wise number of cars present uh, in this particular data set and so on. Okay, now we can do one more thing now. So let us come back to data set. Yeah, so we have seen now uh, how to go for count plotting uh, for this particular variable cylinders. Now let us use one more variable. So let us select any one of the variable which is categorical variable. Yeah, so this is the categorical variable because it is having some uh, finite number of values. USA is there, Japan is there and uh, Europe is there. So we'll check number of cars with respect to origin. So let me do one thing now. So yeah, this is the question now. Count the number of cars with respect to origin, right? Not with respect to number of cylinders. So let us do one thing now. Uh, let me yeah, let me copy this particular code. 
and let me go down let me add this and here instead of cylinders let us give the origin so we'll count the number of cars with respect to origin and let me execute this now yeah so this main number of cars are from usa so more number of cars are from usa followed by japan followed by uh, europe but we don't have exact count and this is number of cylinders it came because x label is we are not changed so let me uh, do one thing now let me copy this and this is fine now yeah and even if you want to see the value count exact value count so you can do this uh, so df dot origin so yeah. let me write dot value counts and let's execute this so from usa we have 249 cars from japan we have 79 cars and from europe we have uh, 70 cars so this is 249 this is a 79 and this is a 70 cars so that's it for this video uh, if you found this video useful then you can like share and subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video